Hello and welcome back. This is DMAC. Um, today I thought I would do an unboxing video because I received this in the post yesterday. Uh, United States Postal Service. Uh, this was sent to me by Kurt Kiffman, aka uh, Picksmith. Um, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel down there. Um, so I recently sent a package to Kurt. Um, which contained some locks that are common here in, in England and perhaps not so common in uh, in California. Um, and likewise, Kurt did the same. This is a bit of a mystery package. I don't know what's in here. Um, and just asked Kurt for some locks that aren't readily available over here. So um, let's open it up, see what we've got, and uh, have a little play. Now I'm no expert in uh, in what locks are are what, um, so this will all be a surprise to me, and I probably won't know what half of them are until I take the time to have a little bit of a play and a pick with them. If it's well wrapped or I've got a blunt knife, one of the two. Okay, we've got all sorts of goodies in here, so let's just see what we've got. So I think this is a uh, yeah, small format, interchangeable core, Abus body. Kurt did mention about getting these. Um, I recently got a... Uh, I've got in there some sort of clips. Yeah, I recently have started uh, getting a few uh, SFIC cores and playing about with it and this is a beautiful body indeed to put those into so thanks very much for that uh, and these are some small format interchangeable core springs and caps um, Kevin Bowen recently uh, sent me this lock from the States as well because I'd managed to find this core um, on Facebook Marketplace over here. Um, I don't have the uh, control key for it, so I can't currently fit it into this body. Um, but what I plan to do, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos, I'll put links to those actually down below, showing a way to um, uh, take all of this out and, and decode uh, one of these so you can make your own control key for it and then I'll be able to take it in and out of this body and pick it. Well, I say I'll be able to pick it. I've not been able to pick this to control or operate in yet. It's a real pain in the ass. Um, but Kurt did say that I probably need springs and caps because um, they'll get crushed taking them out the way I plan to do it. But uh, maybe I'll make a video on that when I get around to it. So um, well, that's great. I've got those. What have we got here? Looks like a Schlage. I, again, like I say, I don't know much about American locks. We've got some crazy bitting on there. We've got some highs there. I think what well, is six pins there and pin four looks pretty high. So I'll definitely be looking to play about with that. And that looks like a pretty nasty keyway as well. Um, trying to get up into there. So I'll definitely look forward to playing with that one. I'm sure uh, I'll have some questions for Kurt once I've unpacked all of these. Um, I'm sure he'll, oh, that's some crazy old bitting on there. I know that um, Kurt is a locksmith, so I think he's probably given me some some of the nastier keys and keyways. What's that one there? Don't know, but yeah, that's a nasty old keyway. I do like interesting warding like that, and uh, definitely a challenge trying to get up in there to pick them, so that'll be a good one to play with. I know Kurt also said that he'd, send some locks down to um so i can make challenge locks out of them yeah looks like the same keyway there definitely going to be fun uh, i'm not sure which ones uh i can make into challenge locks and which ones not uh sometimes it seems a bit of a shame to uh butcher what i suppose uh, over here you know a lot of these locks are going to seem like exotic locks um they're going to seem like exotic locks, so it kind of seems a, sh it seems a shame to butcher them. So here we've got a couple of uh, SFIC cores. Is that a challenge lock? I'm not sure. I'll have to speak to Kurt about that. But either way, we've got some grub screws in there, so that'll be great to sort of play with it anyway and just get an idea how these um, SFIC cores work. Um, there's 
three set I think it's three sets of pins in each chamber and then master wafers as well so you could have even more you've got two separate shear lines um, so yeah that will be uh, definitely fun to play with and of course Americo um, very common in the states I think but not so common here looks like a little cam lock Medico um, I think they're a real pain in the ass to pick. I have picked a 5-pin Medico and a Chubb M3, which is essentially a Medico. Um, but yeah, I'll be looking forward to playing about with that one as well. And now we've got a key mark. Looks like we've got no key with that one, but we do have uh, grab screws, so that'll be fun to play with. It looks like a kind of a tricky keyway. Oh no, it's actually, it's actually fairly open. That's great. I look forward to playing with that. Oh, Kurt did mention about sending this. I think, if I'm right, it's the uh, I think it's a quick set smart key, so it's uh, resettable. There we go, there's the tool for it there. Uh, yeah, resettable there. And we've got some different keys there, different bit in, interesting bit in on that one. Not sure what all that's about, but I'm sure uh, Kurt can fill me in. I think that looks like a blank there. Uh, yeah, so that'd be great to have a play with that. I've not ever seen one of those in the flesh before. Uh, yeah, interesting little lots. And that looks like a little Schley kick cylinders. Um, Oh, Schlage Primus. Not sure what the difference is between just a normal Schlage and a Schlage Primus. Um, is that an Everest? I'm just guessing it's an Everest because it's got a little mountain symbol on there. Again, like I say, I don't know much about them. Uh, yeah, so don't get these very often. I think the only time I've seen um, these little Schlage kick cylinders in person is when I've got a... I've been lucky enough to get challenge locks from America. Uh, I guess they're common out there in the same way Euros are common here and not so common in America. But yeah, they're really nice they are. And I'm looking forward to playing with those and some interesting bitting. Looks like another SFIC there um, to play around with. This is a best one, and I'm guessing there's two different keys there. So I'm guessing one that's can that's the operating key, and yeah, that's the control key because it just flicks that bit in. So it's great to to have uh, the operating and controls keys for these cylinders. Like I say, I've got this one here that I've not been able to do much with. Very difficult to pick, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to having a play with those and to familiarise myself with them. And we've got a Sergeant uh, Mortis. Bloody hell, look at that bitting. Crikey, that's all That's all machine. <laughs> Let's just get that in focus. That's all machine cut there. Uh, that's some pretty horrendous bitting Kurt's given me, so thanks for that, I think. Um, I know these Sergeant, uh, they can be quite difficult to pick. Um, but yeah, looking forward to playing with that. I'll have to get my deep hooks out for that one, I think. Looks like we've got an open keyway. But yeah, look at that. We've got this. Uh, looks like a zero cut up there and a zero lift right next to it. So that should be interesting to pick. Thanks a lot for that, I think. <laughs> and then looks like we've got a couple of boxed mortise cylinders, Ilcos. We've got the key for that one. Very nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if these are intended for picking or intended for challenge locks. I think either way, most of these um, these cylinders that, that that have been sent won't be butchered just yet. Um, I'll have a, a long old play with them. I think this lot is going to keep me busy, uh, perhaps up until Christmas. Uh, second one there, and it looks like I've been given some crazy bit in there. It says control on there. I don't know what that's about. Don't know if it's any different from a normal mortise cylinder. Don't know what pins are in there. Don't know what pins are in any of these actually. So I'm looking forward to playing with those. Okay, one more box in there. And I've got a feeling I know what this could be. Um, 
Picksmith is an excellent uh, pick maker. Post, post a lot of photos on, on the Facebook groups um, of the picks he's made. And I'm guessing this is one of his master creations. Very well wrapped up. So it didn't get damaged on that journey over the Atlantic. And what have we got here? Oh, beautiful. I've seen this one before. I think it's one of the first ones I remember Kurt posting with these these handles. So it's based off of, um, it's the Ridgeback. This is a Law Lock Tools Ridgeback handle. That's how you get it. Very nice design, uh, but very thin. I find them a little bit flexy uh, to use. I prefer a uh, more sort of stout handle. And I think what Kurt's done is, um, I don't know if these are, I think this is all cut by hand. Absolutely incredible work. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the uh, Schimitar, I can't bloody say it, uh, the Schimitar Lorlock Tools profile by the look of it. Uh, very nice uh, indeed. I do like using that profile. And that is an absolutely beautiful handle. Do you focus again? So we can do it justice, yeah. I mean, it's such a, it's such a great design um, that Andrew Andrew Law made uh, with these picks, and I think sandwiched in that beautiful uh, beautiful wood with these little brass pins uh, really does uh, set it off. That's absolutely fantastic. I really uh, really appreciate uh, you sending me all this stuff, uh, Kurt. And I shall definitely be having a good old play with this. I think it's just gonna, it's gonna definitely going to keep me busy for a long time um, and uh, provide content as well for the channel, which is great. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for that. Really appreciate it. And I hope my parcel arrives with you shortly with uh, some exotic locks uh, for you to play with. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I think I'm going to get my picks out um, and play about with these and uh, that'll be me for the next uh, few days, few weeks, few months. Who knows? Looks like we've got some crazy bitting in there and it'll definitely keep me busy. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching this unboxing and I'll see you again soon.